Do you know how you can increase your laptop battery health? Let's talk. If you are buying a laptop, you're going to use it for at least three or four years. And in that period, you will need your laptop at its best performance and the best condition possible. How you can do that? One of the things you should care about is your battery health or battery life cycle. This is important. Why? Because your battery health will affect your performance and your experience with your laptop. Before starting the video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and ring the bell icon so you won't miss our next videos. There are four things you should consider when you are using your laptop. One of them is use your charger and plug in your laptop when you are doing the heavy tasks. Why? Because your CPU and GPU are too powerful for your battery. And with this situation, I don't think your battery can handle 100 watts of CPU power, 100 watts of GPU power. And this will affect your battery health. And all of a sudden, after two years, you will find your battery died. And you should change it. And uh, you need to find a replacement parts or go to your warranty to change your battery, which is not a good thing. So if you want to keep your laptop battery in good condition, you should plug in your charger every time you want to do a heavy task. Even you are a Windows user or a MacBook user. Especially a MacBook user. There is one more thing I need to add. Almost every gaming laptop has the ability to power through your charger. This means your laptop in heavy tasks or even when your laptop fully charged will not use your battery and make the charger the main powerhouse for your laptop. This means your laptop will work only with your charger on the wall and you won't use your battery in heavy tasks or games or something else. And this is a good thing for your laptop. The second thing you can do is keep your battery level percentage under 80. Why this can help? Um, every time your laptop or your battery on the phone on your laptop goes under 20% or over 80%, it will add a life cycle to the almost 600 or 700 life cycle of a battery you have. Your laptop, your phone, all of them will work only about 600 cycles or 700 cycles. Every time you pass the number over 80%, your laptop battery will gain one cycle and it means you lost one of the 700 cycles available for your laptop. Some batteries have less cycles, some batteries have more cycles, but um, the average number is over 600 or 700. The third thing you can do is don't use your laptop in too hot or too cold temperatures. Um, this is not applicable to all the laptops. Some gaming laptops are fine with this weather, but in, I, I think, almost any laptop, you shouldn't use your laptop in too cold or too hot weather. Why? Because it can affect your electrons in your battery and your electrons will work differently in some temperatures. The best situation for your laptop is somewhat between 0 to 35 degrees Celsius and you shouldn't use your laptop in too cold like minus 30 degrees Celsius or over 50 or 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, this will affect your cooling performance and especially your battery health. The last thing you can do is go to your setting and go to power and battery. In this section you will find some settings. One of them is battery recommendations only on Windows 11. There's battery recommendations and you can use them to increase your battery life span, battery health, or your commission CO2 to the environment. Um, they are both great. I suggest you to do this and I didn't do some of because sometimes I do my downloads overnight and because of that I won't do some of them but I think you should do if you have a good internet and good overall life experience. And in that exact page, 
scroll down and check your power usage or battery usage and check which app is using the most of your battery. This is important because some applications have some problems, have some bugs, or even they may be hacked. They can affect your battery life and battery life cycle. Um, try using that and check for heavy applications with high battery usage. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and like this video and comment your opinion about this video. And if you have any more recommendation for battery health, leave a comment down below. Thanks. Bye. I think you should do if you have a good internet and good overall uh, and good overall what and good overall life experience. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>